Joining us now, Roy Boyd is the sheriff of Goliad County, Texas. Thaddeus Cleveland is the sheriff of Terrell County, Texas, and a retired Border Patrol agent. We've got a panel of sheriffs here to weigh in, and welcome to you both. Sheriff Boyd, let me start with you. Talk to me about the impact of the endorsement by this Border Patrol union and why they chose Trump over Harris. Well, ever since the very beginning of the Biden-Harris administration, the Border Patrol agents have been fighting an uphill battle against an administration that is working against them the entire time they're trying to conduct their mission. I believe it's long in coming. I'm glad to see that Border Patrol Union has endorsed President Trump as the next president of the United States of America. And hopefully he will be able to do some things that will be able to help Border Patrol assist them in doing their job more safely and to provide them with the manpower they need to get that job done. All right, unprecedented and historic numbers uh, in terms of border crossings, uh, illegal encounters, gotaways in, in, in this administration, and that is just fact, according to CBP. Uh, then Secretary Mayorkas was on Face the Nation, one of the Sunday shows, denying that this administration opened the border to flood the country with more Democratic voters, specifically. Watch. The notion, the notion that uh, we in law enforcement have sought the, um, uh, to intentionally allow individuals to cross the border illegally mm -hmm. for the purpose of voting is preposterous, and everyone should condemn that rhetoric. Uh, intent or not, that is some of the opinions shared on social media. Some of the politicians have weighed in, and that's where they're coming from. That's where that line of questioning went. But ultimately, you can really just broad it back out to maybe that wasn't your intent, but what was it? Because you certainly reversed so much that these historic numbers uh, have come to fruition in this moment. So much so that it's even a campaign uh, talking point from the vice president that is in office right now, border security, uh, Sheriff Cleveland. Sean Emma, good morning, and, and Sheriff Boyd, good to see you. Um, first and foremost, Sean, you're exactly right. You know, a complete dismantling over the, of the border over the last three and a half years. And to the secretary's point about votes, I, I certainly believe that's a portion of it, but not the only part of it. Uh, another part of it definitely was, and a term that, that Sheriff Boyd ha has used often in, in his speaking points, modern day slavery. We saw former President Bill Clinton briefing um, a group of people where he talked about the border and criminals coming across. And he mentioned specifically for labor. Um, look, this is modern day slavery. We're bringing more people in the United States, uh, I think, not in addition to just voting, but also to uh, to, com to fulfill the, the workforce um, with cheap labor, people that can hide in the shadows and, and you know, again, um, not receiving um, what we should be receiving or paying people that are coming to this, this country to work legally. That's a very interesting take. Uh, we're going to play more of what the former president had to say coming up because it wasn't just uh, the reasoning as to why we're seeing the number, but also the issue he takes with the vetting process. But while we've still got Sheriff Boyd, just wanted to get your thoughts on what we heard from Mayorkas there and sort of the talking points that we're hearing from DHS secretary dismissing the overall concerns about the number of people. Um, your thoughts there. 13,000 people known to be wanted for murder entering into this country. Over 400,000 known wanted criminals. That kind of speaks for itself. And Sheriff Cleveland down on the border can tell you firsthand because he's dealing with it just as we are. It is overwhelming. It is by design. And they are threatening this nation with what they are doing. As local law enforcement, we are coming together and we are working hand in hand with Border Patrol, our state law enforcement agencies, and we're going to work to dismantle transnational criminal organizations right here in the United States. And we're going to try to make it safe again for the citizens of this great country. Yeah, the administration rolled back so many Trump era policies. You saw the shift in the numbers. And then now the talking point is, oh, Congress is the one that has to act on that. Uh, it's somewhat astounding. Sheriff Roy Boyd and Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland joining us. Thank you both, Sheriffs. We do appreciate that.